cow milk. Um, we didn't know that, so we fed it milk. Milk will give them diarrhea. Oh, really? By the way, PSA, public service announcement, milk will give your cat diarrhea or any cat diarrhea, so do not feed them milk if you didn't know well, that. Well, if I have a girlfriend with a cat and we ever get into a fight, I'll just uh, <laughs> give her cat some milk and then she can be up all night taking care of it. <laughs> I mean, they don't get sick. They just, when they shit, it's oh, okay. water. <laughs> it's diarrhea. Yeah. Like, it's nasty. And um, so we had a cat, and I was supposed to, at nighttime, keep it in a box at the foot of my bed. No, bring it onto the bed. That was uh -huh. my mom's rule. Do not bring it onto the bed. But this thing would meow and meow and meow and meow because, you know, it was lonely. It was in a box. Yeah. It's used to having, like, brothers and sisters. So I was like, oh, no, you can stay in my bed. So, of course, I brought it into my bed, and the first thing it does is shit <laughs> on my bed sheet. <laughs> And so I thought you sure was, that wasn't you? You didn't go and get a napkin and scoop it up and think you were a genius? No, no, I'm, I'm, I swear to God, it was the cat this time. <laughs> this time. <laughs> this time. It wasn't the bathtub, it was my bed. Okay, uh -huh. by this age, I pretty much knew not to shit in my own bed. <laughs> so, <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, so I thought it was like, oh shit, like I wasn't supposed to have the cat on my bed, and now, like, it shat on my bed, and I'm so like absolutely in trouble so i just like roll up the sheet that it pooped in and like put it in the corner of my room yeah and my mom came in she's like oh why is Smells that like sheet in shit. the corner <laughs> well first well first like the next day she's like oh why is that sheet in the corner i was like oh i just don't want it on my bed you know she's like i'll take it to the laundry i was like no 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 i just don't want it on, on the bed <laughs> and um yeah after like of course like four or five days it started smelling like a complete like, asshole yeah. in my room so she eventually found out and i was in so much trouble <laughs> and i thought you were smart for lying yeah i was just like Phew. she doesn't know but what you don't know is you originally got uh, you yeah you know eventually got to get rid of the evidence but when you're so young you can't like plan that far ahead like yeah it's just like i'm not gonna get in trouble right now so yeah like, yeah so it's okay you know like yeah. kids it's, it's all about right now like you can't plan to the future so yeah. That was my um, retarded story. <laughs> I got one last quick story. All right, cool, because I'm done, then. Are you? Okay. Yeah, we've been going on for just over an hour, so. Cool, cool. Uh, my last quick story was, and this is a happy story, is that every, you, have you lived here your whole life? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you Born remember Tompkins you. Street? What? Tompkins Street. What's that? Every Christmas, this one street Everybody on this street, and this wasn't a city thing, this wasn't a government thing, just the people on the street thought it would be cool, and they all painted their garages during Christmas. I did not know that. No, I've never heard of this. Yeah. Uh, Where was it at? Tompkins Street. I mean, like, northwest. It's kind of it's kind of by Valley. A little bit. Yeah, okay. Uh, maybe a little farther that. east, but... Yeah, and so this entire street, every Christmas, would, like, you know, one house would do a Charlie Brown theme, and the... The garage would be painted like Charlie Brown Christmas. Up in their trees, there'd be lights and decorations and Charlie Brown in the front that yard. That was in a freaking awesome neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, and every not one house didn't do it. Not one. Wow. And then one year, one house moved away. This new owner of the new house wasn't smelling it, so he didn't do it that year. The next year, two houses didn't do it, and now it's completely dead. Yeah. But I remember every Christmas, we used to go down oh, there. Oh, wow. And every single one of these houses... The garages That's were really painted. sad. That is really sad. Yeah, but I, it was really really cool. Yeah. And, uh, oh yeah. I can. And imagine. it was a big thing, especially because like, cause, like in Vegas, they you had... never talk to your neighbors. Like right. my neighbors are complete strangers. So the fact that like <laughs> a whole really because I know your neighbor pretty well. Oh, I mean, I we know like one, maybe two or three of our neighbors, yeah. but like for the whole street, you know, for everyone to know each other and to plan that together, that yeah. is really amazing. Yeah. All right. So go ahead. Keep going. That's it. Oh, that was it. Yeah. Oh. That's really sad. Like I, I was a good memory though. I miss like like all the collective stuff. Like I, I know I miss it because like um, I have a lot of family in the Netherlands. I don't know if I've said that. Probably said that. Yeah, you said. Already. But let me say it like it's brand new because I've been drinking and it is brand new. Yeah, <laughs> we've had we've had one glass of wine. And I no, I was really, drinking before you got here. Really? Because I as feel soon really. As you just came over. Okay, but it's I me. Like, I drink all the time. I feel very warm and fuzzy tonight. It was a good, great wine though. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. Um, but. In the Netherlands, like, it's more of a community thing. Uh -huh. So, like, when they have, when their football, when the football team for the country is playing, like, when they were playing the other year for the World Cup, everyone, and I kid you not, everyone in the neighborhood, orange everywhere. Well, that's cool. Like, decorated their houses in orange. And I really miss that here in Vegas because everything's, like, disconnected. And, yeah. Like, like, you really don't know the people that live around you. Just I don't know, it's because, like, 
I don't know why. It's just like no food. It's just, it's just yeah, it's a very so small town. That's really sad. Like, and I never even heard of that street, so that really makes me sad that I never even got to see it. Yeah. But. Okay. Well, I think that was a good show. Yeah, that was. And next time, hopefully, we can find a guest. You need okay. to bring on guests. It's because most of my friends are nerds like me. Um, or like, like literally the kid I want to have a guest, he's about to turn 21 and he has a curfew, probably like 10 or 11. If he wants to stay out past the curfew, he needs to let his mom know ahead of time. And yes, he is. <laughs> so yeah. And then like my other friends, they just, they're at school all the time. They don't get out to like. I'm school all the time. Eight or nine. Anyway, we'll figure they're it at out. at school two days a week, please. No reason to worry about it until at least we get an episode aired. <laughs> all right but uh all right yeah all right. speaking of the we'll devil talk soon. <laughs> all right good night get out of this one all right good night, good night i guess